What's going on everybody? Chase with IDEB Hockey, joined today with Dan Rich, the Product Development Manager for Sherwood Hockey. We're here in Calgary. We've got your brand new Sherwood Wrecker Legend Pro Line. We have the classic Code TMP Pro Line in front of us too. And we really want to talk about the differences between the style of player that you built each family for. So before we really start talking about different technologies and designs that we find unique in each, just tell me a, like a good overall summary of, you know, what the differences in style of play are. So it's real definitive. The, the exciting part is that Sherwood's maintained two specific families, the Wrecker family and the Code family. Wrecker family has always catered to that player who does all their work kind of from the hash marks in, top of the blue paint, coming out of the corner, looking for that quick reaction, uh, surprise the goaltender and do some work down in those dirty areas. The Code family, continues to be that true playmaker product. The guy coming off the wall, whether you're shooting at the top of the circles, whether you're distributing the puck back into the slot, or whether you're making a great breakout pass to actually start the rush. So it's really nice to have these two families because we're able to do a hybrid kick point in the TMP Pro family or the TMP family in general, and then really have that sniper stick, that goal scorer stick with the Wrecker family and specifically the new Legend Pro. Well, let's talk about this new Legend Pro. Uh, as we mentioned in the earlier video, this is the biggest change I've seen in the Wrecker line in quite some time. And these are very Wrecker specific features that really cater to that sniper player you were just talking about. So walk me through a couple standout features that we only find in the Wrecker line. First and foremost is our new Ergo Taper shaft. The ETS shaft is very unique and different from anything that we've done at Sherwood before. Having that rounder top section, the actually concave convex section in through the body of the stick in through the middle where your bottom hand sits and then that rounder section again through the bottom third to enhance durability and to really promote that low kick point. So that's first and foremost the real difference that you get between Wrecker and Code. Okay. And let's talk about blade feel as well, because we know this is gonna have that quicker release, maybe a little bit more effortless to load up. Uh, that doesn't mean that the TMP Pro's a slouch by any means, but this is gonna have a little more velocity, a little more zip on those shots. So we know the differences in style of shooting. What about blade feel? Because that's so important for that player out there to know how a stick feels when you're stick handling, catching passes, and how they differentiate between one another. I'll touch first on how they are similar in that we put I-92, our vibration dampening material, in both blades, okay. both actually on heel, toe, and through the reception area. So that helps reduce the vibration. Where the real difference is, is what you need from a blade in relation to the shaft. On a low kick product, because you've got so much softness down in that bottom portion, mm -hmm. you've created a linear, stiffer blade so that you actually don't get too much splay or opening. Okay. Soft bottom of the stick, stiffer linear blade. On the Code product, you've got a much stiffer bottom portion of the stick because of your hybrid kick point, the higher kick, and therefore you promote a little bit more longitudinal flex, a little bit more soft, so that they can react to each other. So stiff with a softer linear blade on the Code family, and then soft with a stiffer linear blade in the Wrecker family but both with amazing feel, even though they're a little bit different, but still that amazing feel with that vibration dampening core from that I-92. Yeah, I think it all relates Chase, to basically our, our quest for balance and feel. Our Featherlight technology, Featherlight XT in both of these, gives us our best or our most optimum balance point with a blade that's suited for that kick point. So everything complements itself mm -hmm. and having that XY ratio, the spines versus the sidewalls flex uniformly is very important to promoting that feel as well. Well, let's talk about the TMP Pro. This was a big update from the Code 5 line that we saw previously. This is obviously having some great success at the NHL level right now, as I'm sure the Legend Pro will too, but walk me through why this is just becoming such a popular line and those features that are only going to be found on the TMP Pro. The, the Code family has a more traditional shape or more a square or shape, if you will. Still has the nice rounded corners, mm -hmm. but again, it's basically a, a, a boxier construction. The Energized Velocity Taper here promotes that 
um, hybrid kick point, if you will, mm -hmm. and gives it a little bit more robust to construction down in through the hosel and into the blade. That's what creates that stiffness as you move up in the kick point into that hybrid kick point. So a little bit more square technology, a little bit more traditional, if you will, mm -hmm. and that hybrid kick point is obviously very popular for players that are playing more of an all-round game right now, that puck distributor type player, but still having that snap when you really get a great scoring opportunity and really want to get it away quickly. So let's finish this off with maybe one or two players that you could name that really suit that style of play like we talked about, whether it's that sniper or that playmaker, maybe someone that we've maybe seen on the TV a time or two. Look, the, the TMP Pro for us is, is very easy right now. If you've got William Nylander in Toronto, you've got Matthew Kachuk in Florida, these are players that actually can create anywhere on the ice. Mm -hmm. And they are players that are very dynamic, exciting they play a different style the two of them however when you get inside the blue line these guys make things happen whether it's shooting from the top of the circle whether it's actually getting it into the dirty areas um, you know they're able to really really celebrate what that stick is able to do we have players like an Alex Debrinkat that actually has quick release we're working with a number of new players coming forward that we expect to be in the legend pro moving into 2023 that are those shooters, those snipers, those guys who actually make things happen down low near the net. So we're very excited with the two families. We're very excited with the performance differences between the two families. And I think for the consumer, having a good understanding of what you're expecting from your game will let you select one or the, one or the other to really well suit your hockey game. Perfect, Dan. Well, uh, very exciting this year and can't wait to continue to see how Sherwood evolves because this year, this Legend Pro is just one heck of a stick. But Dan, just want to say thanks again for having us out and running us through the differences between your two families. It's my pleasure and thanks again for the support for Sherwood. Absolutely. And for you at home that want to check out the entire collection from Sherwood Hockey, make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com.